Hello. It's uh, Monday the 30th of September. I kept thinking to that to myself as I started and then still forgot. <laughs> uh, you can, might be able to hear the rain on the window in the background. It's been raining since I finished work this evening. So nice and wet out there now. But it keeps all the other noise, noises down to a minimum. So here we are. Two month update again. Things are still topsy turvy, just beginning to get back to normal for the main part of the house where we're having to move loads of furniture. So everything's beginning to go back into its normal place. It's still affecting the rotation to some degree. Hopefully, next month, October, hopefully, we'll have more progress on some building work. Um, I hope so anyway, I really want it done this year. So once, even while that's going on, I'm hoping to be able to get back into a normal, for me, rotation. But I haven't been idle in the two months. And in fact, I got quite a lot of sewing done. At one point, uh, well, in August, uh, we had... We cleared out the main lounge to mostly, it was just mostly redecorate, but we had the floor re sanded and re, re varnished. So we couldn't be in the front room. It was about, ended up being about two weeks. So I was upstairs in my cramped craft room because things hadn't been put back into their proper places. But I had enough space that I was able to get quite a lot done. So, we'll start with Eternal Promise. Um, most of these, well, this will be two months' work on this. Uh, I kind of caught up last night on my rotation. I'll go into that a bit later. But uh, when you last saw it, I think I was over here. It's all a bit floppy on the frame because I've scrolled up. So, I was over here on page. 40. So I got page 40 finished. Then I did page 41. Got that one finished. And I think I made a start. No, I hadn't quite finished this one in October. Yeah, that'd be right. So I hadn't quite finished this page in October. Mostly done. It was so very close to being done. Um, so then 40. Two was done in September and I made a start on 43 zoom in a bit uh, so this row I've got three rows left including this row so hopefully this time next year if my calculations are correct I should be finishing so uh, what we have here is background and just her the cloak kind of pulls on the ground around her. So right now I'm moving from um, following stitching that was vertical to going a bit more horizontal with the stitches so they tend to go across. So apart from the border, the stitches aren't going down as much as they're going across. I think uh, just past this red line is the end of the page so I haven't got much to do uh, finishing this page is when I worked out my page a month target this finishing this page is the target for October so nice and ahead of that I'll be able to get this page finished and get started on the next page uh, we have the cat shouting <laughs> No one's paying him any attention at the moment. So, what I've also been doing while I'm down here, and I'm going to have to film in two locations, um, is Gingerbread House number two. I've already done a few in this series. Uh, so this is the second house. I don't, don't think I've done any of the other houses, so I've got another one to show you. So this is my before work stitch. And I've got the border done at the 
up. The top half of the house is done. Then, then the pesky snowflakes, and we've got half a gingerbread man. So, October's plan: finish off ginger man, gingerbread man, put snow in to get across the house. I'm going to try and do most of the white. Don't like doing the white. Do most of the white, then do the gingerbread house, and that'd be another finish. I, I've got these on the Tiny Decisions app, and basically, I've got I've got gingerbread series, uh, the alphabet sampler houses, uh, and the summer school house series. They're all three that I have on the rotation now are part of this part of series. So I've also got new start in there. So spin the wheel, see what it comes up with. I have got it on a non-repeating selection. So the next one it spins will not be another gingerbread house because there are only so many gingerbread houses I feel like stitching in one go. So there we have that. Now I'm going to take a short break. It will be almost instant for you and I'll bring you lots more nice things to see. See you in a minute. And back again um, in my craft room. It's not tidy yet so I'm not going to properly introduce you. Um, this is the smaller sewing sewing machine room <laughs> so I can keep the cat out while I've got the sewing machine going because he doesn't bother with my hand sewing. I don't want him getting interested in a sewing machine. So here we are, this is the first one that I finished, maybe? There's another finish, I can't find it. I'll show you it when I can. So this is Gingerbread House 1, one of my morning stitches before I go to work. I get about half hour stitching in. So uh, that was the first one. The tree trunks disappear in the colour of the house. House is pecan, the tree trunks are hazelnut, but they're such a similar colour. Just blends in. I couldn't be bothered to change it. So that's the first one. And then after I finish that, uh, the app chose UVW House for me. Oops. And this is the penultimate one. I've got one more to do. So the next time it comes up on Tiny Decisions, I will finish the series. So UVW House doesn't have any people or any animals in this one. It's quite a lonely little house. I expect they're all inside enjoying themselves. So then, whizzing through these. Anyway, this is one you've not seen yet. Uh, as I said, locations have been restricted. And at one point I was only in the bedroom. <laughs> I didn't have anything that I could work on easily, so um, I had a new start. It's like a new start in, mostly because like, that purple background is going to take ages. Because uh, what I'm stitching, bit of glare, is Nightmare. It's uh, designed by Gecko Rouge. Artwork by Medusa Dollmaker. Obviously you can see it's Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Love that film. So, all this border, all this purple, nice. So, uh, I stitched this colour by colour. Uh, I started with that main purple colour. Left the holes for the pumpkins and the skulls and crossbones. And then go the right way. That part is um, part of Zero's ear, the outline for his ear. There's so many colours in that. <laughs> I didn't count but there's lots. Um, <laughs> like, there are quite a few colours on this page but they're all concentrated in this small corner as usual. But uh, I think I was stitching downstairs by the time I got the page finished so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's quite a nice one to just sit and so get through all that purple. 
I'll be glad of it, I expect, when I get to the confetti of the sugar skull on Jack. So, I haven't got any set times when I'm doing this. Mostly when I feel like pulling it out to work on some purple. So, it's a good one for on the sofa while I'm watching TV. As long as I know roughly where the pumpkins and the skeletons are. So I don't go too far. So, uh, this is 25 Count Magic Guide. One of my staples. So, also worked on trying to get back into a semi-normal rotation. So, camera works a bit wonky. Sorry about that. So this month, so we're kind of skipping ahead. Last month later. This month, uh, this is a little light reading by Heaven and Earth Designs, artist Randall Spangler. It's a dragon hiding in the under the covers, reading the book by the light of a mobile phone. So, finished page two, got that little bit of tail in. It's nice to get away from. Oh, this is so boring. So, it's all blocks of colour. It's not as fun to stitch as purple for some reason. I <laughs> like colours. So, now, you could probably spot that I started going all over the shop. And I don't normally go into other pages. And, oops, going da, 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 da. the reason that I have gone all over the place is because I'm using Pattern Keeper. And this is the reason why I have only just finished the rotation on Eternal Promise. Because I finished stitching it early because I was so desperate to try that app out. I even got an Android just so I could use that app. It is everything I wanted. I've seen Cross Stitch Saga but changing the pattern type over was just too much work for me. I didn't have pattern maker. Is it pattern maker you need to do that? It's something I, I just didn't know how to do it basically and I didn't want to spend forever doing it. So thankfully for us someone's written something to do all that for us and the app is called Pattern Keeper. It is only on Android at the moment. She obviously wants to get it 100% completed, stable, free from any bugs, free from any suggestions. There's so many people offering suggestions of what they'd like to see this app do. Obviously, I'd like to see it be able to do Gecko Rouge. It's not going to be able to do the colours because the Gecko Rouge kits do not tell you what the DMC number is. But I want to work with the number from the key because on the app down the right hand side you have the legend with all the colours. So when you highlight a colour that you're stitching on, you can just look across to see what colour it is. So when you've run out of a thread you know which one to grab. And so for me that's brilliant. I want the numbering to be the same for the geckos so that I can just grab whichever thread card that I need and get the right colour. So if you haven't seen it yet, there's various groups, there's some tutorials out there. I might do something explaining how I use it because I've seen tutorials about how to do diagonal stitching with it. Obviously I don't stitch diagonally so I don't know if people might be interested in seeing how I use it, how it can work with different methods of stitching. But I am in love with it. I am completely sold on it. I've got... I spent... It doesn't take long to get it set up for your patterns. Even the ones you started. Because you can just tell it that you completed a whole page. So because I work by page, it was quite easy for me to get it all up to date. So I have got this one obviously. Just be a trick or treat and a stitch in time. I've got those imported into the app so my regular stitching all ready to go when when they come up on the rotation. 
and the sooner the better. Unfortunately for me, the eternal promise that I've got is a paper chart, so obviously you can't make that a fully functional readable PDF. And the version that I've got is the original version from before Matt Stewart was retired from Head, Head once. He came back again and when he did they recharted Eternal Promise so it's a slightly different size to the one that I'm doing. So I can't get the PDF for it. I have to <sighs> have to plow on with the paper. <laughs> it's not that bad but I've got shiny things I want to use. I'm as bad as any other stitch. Oh, magpies really, aren't me? So, anyway, a little light reading. Two pages done. I started this Christmas last year. And every three months it comes up in the rotation. Next time, uh, instead of carrying a cross, because oh, this, this goes on forever, goes on all the way across. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to come down so we're going to do diagonal diagonal paging so uh, page I think it's page six I think it's five pages wide this page next and oops obviously I've already kind of ventured into it from this color uh, so I'll be venturing into the page next to it and the page underneath no more possibility of page lines unless I get bored and finish off there because one colour goes across a couple of pages. So, a little light reading. And next, the blingy one. Oh, so blingy. Now this one I haven't worked on much while everything's been going on with the house. I did do a full week on it in October and I got loads done let's zoom in a bit and take you through that so I think it was down here somewhere so I've got I got this moon bit finished and dress so this is kind of like a page edge and this scarf diaphanous scarf which is nice to stitch because that's TMC. Most of it's metallic. You could probably pick up the sparkle and kind of see in it. I've got quite a bright light on. And so far I've only spent one day on it in September. I'm probably going to do a little bit more this evening but probably won't get a lot done on it. So I want my... Oops, I see sparkle. I want to get my rotation back properly in place so I can carry on with this. I think down the bottom of the page here there's quite a lot of her skirt. There's a bit of back stitching to do which I have been doing and then I stopped so I might get those two pages. It's two pages, one there, that's nearly done, and then one down here get those pages done and then do the back stitch and then there's four pages left in total but obviously not so full so you've got a bit more of the moon coming round another star probably a bit more dress and some wispy bits of scarf and wings so moon sweet moon passion ricamo stitched on pole stitches fabric I can't remember what it was called, it was a recommended one, don't have the details with me. I think I went for 28 count, so I can get all the beads fit in. There's loads of beads, I wanted to get the beads to fit nicely. So, that's that one. Let's get her out of the way. And in August, I'm totally out of season, in August I stitched Trick or Treat and finished page three. This is one of the ones that I'm looking forward to and working on Pattern Keeper. There won't be so much the next page. I think there's a few branches. I'll be so useful with the leaves to tell me where I'm going. So, finished off page three. I think I was above this bat. 
got the bat in. That is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the turret at the top of the house. That's the spike at the turret at the top of the house. So I've got that done as well. Not too much. This one is stitched on 28 count, easy count, one over one. It's, let's see if I can zoom in enough. Is it going to focus? Oh, struggle. It's quite a holy material there, you can see there. Uh, I usually stitch on Monaco, which is nice and dense and you can't see many holes in it. Makes it easy, <laughs> makes it harder to stitch. So this one's a bit easier to stitch on, but it feels quite stretchy fabric, which I don't enjoy quite as much. But for the grid lines, it's all right. I like having the lines. Helps me count. It's easy to count 10, 20, 30, go over. Stitch right number. So this one I had gone all the way across at the top. So it's huge. It's 10 pages wide, the 10th page is really narrow, but 10 pages wide is 90 pages in total, so it's big, it's my biggest. Uh, it won't come out again until, blah, blah, blah. where are we, it won't come out again until November. So, uh, that's all the stitching, whistle tops, whistle stop tour of that, uh, plans. For October is to try and do my rotation, so two weeks on Eternal Promise. Ah, got something else. There's 31 days in October, if you hadn't realised. And uh, so my nominal rotation is two weeks on Eternal Promise. It will be one week on Just Be. I'm excited to get back to that one. And another week on Moon Sweet Moon. But I've got three spare days. So deciding what to do for those three spare days. Um, I made a bag. This is related. I made a bag. I mean, it's not Harry Potter theme, but the bag is. But, but sorry. Um, it's quite a big bag. I wanted a bag that didn't have a zip because I'm really bad at getting things caught in zips. So, put these poppers on. And because the way it is, you can roll it, I can't do it one handed, you can roll it over. But as you can see in the bag, what's in the bag, there are three thread thing organisers, and a box of floss, bobbin floss, and a bag that's got spare floss in. This is all the materials for a stitch in time. I think the Pattern Keeper app is going to help me so much with stitch in time because you can highlight a colour, it does it instantly. I should use Easy PDF before. And you search and it goes through the whole document and highlights it. It doesn't take long, but it just takes a little while. This, you just press a button, highlighted. I love it. And when you're marking off the colour, it will only mark off the colour that's highlighted so you can like, scrub your finger over the app, over the screen, and it colours it in. And it colours it in with the colours that you've done. So you kind of get a nice, pretty little representation of what you stitched, which means you can still look, see what you stitched, uh, even when it's all scored up on bars. So, three days. I think I'm going to spend them on stitching time. Starting page five, there's a shelf bit at the top, which will take a little while. Well, the shelf edge. It's so many colours in that. The whole thing's got loads of colours in, especially page five. I've not been looking forward to it. So full of confetti. So that will be for me a true test of my stitching with the pattern keeper. And I'm going to love it. I know I am. I can't wait to get to it. I've got to wait two weeks. So there we are. I think that's it. Can't think of anything else that I have to tell you. Uh, hopefully as I get things sorted out I can get more of my frames and my stands out so I can get back to things like death by cross stitch. I'm going to put that onto a different frame and then maybe sneak in some more sampler starts. Don't tell anyone. Maybe. got a few things I want to start. I've got so much I want to do. I'm just like everyone else. 
Right, that's it for me. I hope that you managed to get loads done in the last two months. I feel like I've got quite a bit done. Certainly stumbling ahead with eternal promise. And might even be able to get a stitch of me done. Not promising anything. I'm going to try to, hopefully. It all depends if I get how many weekends we get to ourselves because things are busy still. Are you wanting to come and work at the weekends? <laughs> Stay off. Um, so that's it for now. I will try and get back to you at the end of October. I'm going to really, really, really try to do that. Um, or maybe even the beginning of November. I don't like leaving it so long. I know I forget, forget other things. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for all the likes and the comments. And uh, keeping up with me on Instagram. I do post more pictures. I haven't been posting so many recently again. <laughs> you can see some of my pictures with my pattern keeper. <laughs> you see... I put a, a picture of Little Light Reading, as you've just seen it, and the Pattern Keeper version, which is only a little bit different, with so slight variation in colours, but it's fun to look at, fun to compare. So, <laughs> I will see you soon. Thanks for dropping by, as I said, and hopefully I'll be able to catch up with you all soon. Bye for now.